Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask as we go into the study of your word tonight, Holy Spirit, we ask that you take charge of this meeting in Jesus' name. Let your word come with clarity. Let your word come with precision. Let your word bless us tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. I said, in Jesus' name we pray. I want us to turn our Bible to the book of Psalms chapter 1. We're going to be reading from verse 3. Psalms chapter 1 from verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not work wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I want us to read it again. Psalms chapter 1 from verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth, he shall what? Prosper. That is, he will be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth he will prosper that is tonight we'll be looking at the fruit bearing christian the fruit bearing christian the text we read tonight said he shall be like a tree that is planted by the riverside that bringeth his fruit in his season. Now, that established the fact that God expects us to bring fruit in our seasons. God never expected any Christian to live a barren life. No. God expects you to be fruitful. God expects you to be productive. God expects you to multiply yourself. That is the grace to be fruitful is released upon you now. I thought you say better, amen. amen. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5, quickly. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame somebody say god forbid i want to hear that loud he said he that gathered in summer is a wise son that talks about soul winning he that gathered in summer praise the lord he that gathered where is a wise son. But he that sleepeth is a son that brings shame to the father. That is, God expects us as his children on a consistent basis to be fruitful. Listen to this. Any child of God that live a stagnated life, God by his word said, he will, he will cut off that person. That is God's master design for a child of God is that now that you are a child of God, you should be producing fruit. You should produce fruit. And what kind of fruit? Reproducing yourself. Reproducing yourself. 
That is why every time we hear the subject of soul winning is a major subject in this kingdom that we belong. Soul winning is not a is not a method of growing a church. No. Soul winning is a system and a pattern that God has put in place to use to draw people, draw souls to himself. And that was the original intention why Jesus came. It will only take soul winning to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. And some of us Christians, we don't understand the dynamics and the benefit of soul winning. And that is why we don't fully engage in it. The Bible said there is joy in heaven over one soul that repented, over one soul that is brought back to the Father. If there is joy in heaven, hello, hello, you know, people have been saying that praise is powerful to God, praise is what God cannot give to Himself, praise, that praise open doors, good, yes, perfect. But there's a weapon that is stronger than praise. That is why the devil will not allow you to engage in it. And that's the weapon of soul winning. The weapon of what? If you read John 3, 16, the Bible says, He said, For God so loved the word that He sent. Another translation says, sent. Another one says, He gave. His only begotten Son. The reason why God gave His only begotten Son is so that men can be drawn to Him. Praise the Lord. So that men can be what? Drawn to Him. And so women is a platform where mortal men are drawn to their God. That is why the devil will not allow you to engage in so winning because he knows that that is one of the major key to put smile in the face of God. And God is not wicked that you will put smile on his face and he will put smile on your face. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, he that winneth so is wise. Is what? It's not that he that prays. Praise is good. Prayer is good. But so when he position you in a realm where you begin to function like God. Because you are partnering with God. God is the master soul winner. God is the first soul winner. That is, soul winning is not a method of growing a church. No. Soul winning is a medium of putting smile and joy in heaven. Joy and smile in heaven. That is why the devil will not allow you to engage in it. Because the devil knows that. See, I have never seen any genuine soul winner that is stranded. I have never seen Genuine soul winner that is stranded, never. I've never seen. You just know what to do part time. You just know what to do. The grace to be a soul winner is released upon you now. I thought I would hear better. Amen. Amen. I said that grace is released upon you. Amen. If you are saying amen, I thought you say it louder than that. Bringing men back to their God. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Bringing men back to the family of God. Is it that you bring them direct to God or you bring them back to the family? There is always a family. Praise God. I say, praise God. Now, do you know that when it, the devil wants to separate a man from God, the first place he separates that man from is his house. Is this where? Yes, is his house. Let me say this to us. There are many reasons why people don't go to church. There are many reasons why people that we are going to church before stop going to church. One, one of the major reasons is Satan's orchestration. Once the devil can disconnect a man from coming to God's house, the man is already in danger. Already where? And the devil will give him enough reason why he's not coming to church. Praise God. Let me teach you this. Listen to this. There is no strong reason, strong enough, that is powerful enough to make you stop coming to church. Not even pastor. 
Do you know why? The Bible says, they go from strength to strength, every one of them that appear before God in where? In Zion. In Zion. And let me say this to you. Changing of church is not a kingdom's pattern. It's not a kingdom pattern. It's devilish and is a trap. Check it. Do you know why? Once you start attending a church, there is an angel assigned to you in that particular church. There's an angel. Let me say this to you. It's even graduated to a point that where you sit every Sunday, there's an angel that knows that that's your seat. Praise the Lord. That is, if you're not by annoyance or by pride or by arrogance or by selfishness, walk away, you have walked out of your covering. Now, the devil will not strike immediately. The devil will make you feel that you are doing the right thing. There is no reason strong enough, strong under heaven, powerful enough to disconnect you from the church you have attended. Unless God speaks to you expressly. And when God speaks to you, He will confirm me with the set man in the house. Hello? Let me explain this. He said, They that are planted in the house of God, they shall flourish in the court of their God. There are people that are coming to church that are not planted. And because they are not planted, flourishing is far from them. I will show you now. We're going to learn a lot of things tonight. They that are planted in the house of God, they shall flourish in the cause of their God. That is when you come to a church like this and you are not planted, flourishing is far from you. How do I know you are planted? When you come to church today and you don't come tomorrow, you are not planted. When you come for weekly meeting and you can't come for Sunday, you are not planted. And your flourishing is in the planting. It's in the planting. You see, these spiritual matters, they are, they are interconnected. And another set of people that are planted, they lack what we call the sequel of harvest. You know, the sequel of harvest is patient. The Bible says we should follow those who through faith and what? Go through faith and what? Obtain the promise. That is, you obtain through what? I didn't hear that. Through what? Respond to me. Through what? Faith and patience. That is the secret. That's the secret. Faith and patience. Why should we win so? One is a command from God. He said, go ye to the world and preach this gospel. He said, go. He said, go. One is a command from God. Two is a major key to God's treasure house. John 15, 16, quickly. Is a major key to God's treasure house. John 15, 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go. Not you should sit down. Not you should watch people. That you should go and bring forth what? Fruit. Not just bringing forth fruit, that your fruit should what? That, you see, look at it very well. The next thing in I said, that was so ever ye shall ask of the Father in my what? In my name. He may give it to you. That is, you have the key to God's treasure house. Any man that is involved in soul winning is either by sponsoring, by going himself, 
he or she function in an automatic frequency of answers to prayers. Automatic. Somebody said automatic. I didn't hear that. Shout automatic. Why should we win so? Is God's habit. Is God's habit. God loves so winners. So winners have special place in the heart of God. In the heart of God. So winners. God can do anything to keep a soul winner life. He can do anything to keep a genuine soul winner life. Now listen to this. Soul winning is not cheap. It's not just okay. Come, let's go to church. First we'll be following you. No, 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 no. It takes genuine work. Because you can't say you have won the soul when you just brought the person to church. He said that your fruit should work. Remain. That is when you have discipled the person and the person has become a worker. That's when you have won the soul, sir. That is that guy that used to waste on the street. That guy that was useless on the road is not serving God, not just church goer. He's not a worker. He's not a choir member. He's not a security person. Is that making sense to somebody here? By that, you can tell the Lord Remember brother Ezekiel. Remember brother Chooks. I'm the one that won him. Look at him. He's in the crowd control unit. Look at him. He's in the technical unit. God say, you are, you are right. What do you want, my son? I need a job. I need admission. I need a wife. I need a husband. I need children. Why? Because you have presented your strong reasons to him. Your strong what? reasons. That's what soul winning is all about. That's what soul winning is all about. I decree as we enter this new month and you begin to win so genuinely, you will have results. I don't like the way you are saying amen at all. Everybody at church will say better amen here. 